Well folks, we had planned on going camping, but it's Father's Day and I got uh, some requests on my time from certain young family members. My sons apparently want to get together for Father's Day. Somehow I guess I brought them up right. So instead of camping this weekend, we are investigating some potential campgrounds for the future. <clears throat> up uh, in the Adirondacks in the Tug Hill Plateau, just west of the Adirondacks, um, which is where we are right now. We're stopped um, on a rest area. There's a lot of stuff in northern New York, a lot of neat places. We are literally driving about three hours each way up and back to uh, these campsites that uh, we'll, we'll have in here. And we'll show you some of the other neat things on the way up there. Um, there's we go over a, over the Tug Hill, which is a big ridge, and there's a, there's a wind farm on there we'll stop and look at. But if you like to, uh, if you like to canoe or kayak, or even just swim in mountain lakes, um, that's where we're going. That's the, uh, Brookfield Power Maple Maple Reservoir Campground. It's only a few campgrounds there. I think there's 11 campsites, but it has bathrooms and a dump station, and uh, it's, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice little primitive campsite. No, no um, hookups or anything like that. It's a first come, first serve, and. Uh, they don't usually get full except at uh, 4th of July and Labor Day. So, think about that. And somebody's stiff from laying in the car. <laughs> He's got a wobble going here. bare bones park 
just 11 sites. And, um, first come, first serve. Bathrooms here. I like to get to the important spot stuff first. This is the shower. Real dark in here and spidery. <laughs> it's got a chain to turn the water on. I guess there's... There's a switch for the light. It's a chain shower, big shower. We're zoomed out as far as we can. It's, it appears to be free. There's no money or anything. Men's bathroom. Two stalls for the men. They do have a trailer dump station. This is the lake. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. But that's the beach over there. There is a lifeguard. It's a big beach. Swimming area. Floaty dock. The lake itself is pretty big. There's a lot of camps along the edge of it. So there's a lot of motorboat traffic, I'm sure. There are 11 sites. This is just one. This is number nine. Across the way is number 10, I assume. <laughs> no, that's number 11, actually. This is number 10. Nice sight in the trees. <laughs> Comes complete with clothesline. <laughs> and just over the little path there is uh, the lake. We're on a point here. Brand new picnic tables. Here's the whole Beaver River canoe route. I'm going upstream, sorry. We are right in there. The campground is right there. It's all first come, first serve. Campsites, $20 a night. Do you have potable water here? 
Yeah, yeah, right in the men's room there. In the ladies' room, yeah, they got us all thirty. Just on hump that holes. You know what I mean? But that says it's not potable. That they got that on there because they don't want you drinking out of the holes. The water's all chlorinated. Oh, yeah. is it all? Everything's chlorinated. Yeah. Oh, okay. I wouldn't drink out of that holes. I mean, <laughs> you, yeah. you don't know well, where they put that. That's why they put the sign there. Well, yeah. Yeah. So that there, you could fill the oh, tank with too. Yeah. Well. Well, Paul Campbell, was, he brings his own hose. Oh, look at okay, there, I'll screw that right in. Oh, yeah. I always got hoses in mind, but I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I thought, oh, yeah, same yeah. thing, I read the sign. Yeah, we got all, so. all the water here is all. Is, oh, uh, I knew I, it wasn't the bathroom. I thought, well, it is all over. I mean, that's the only thing we got right there. Yeah. It goes out there. They just put a sign on there not to drink it, but the people be drinking out of holes. Oh. There, <laughs> and they close out their septic tanks and shit. There yeah. Right yeah. Down yeah. There they you know, I wouldn't want to drink out of it either. Yeah. But no, what uh, Paul Campbell and all them guys do. So are you. Are you Usually open? I mean, usually got open spaces during the summer? The best way is, I mean, 4th of July, that's my busiest weekend, right there, 4th of July. Okay, yeah, Labor Day. Yeah, Labor Day, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, we, if you got a tent, uh, RV, I wouldn't say it because that fills right up here with. Rent whatever you want for 20 bucks. Uh, they do have a uh, pair, they appear to have a garbage dumpster, but it does say carry in, carry out. So I don't know what that really means. They've got chlorinated water, so it is potable water. We're at the lower reservoir from the campsite and there's a place here to launch a kayak or canoe if you're crazy. No public swimming or wading allowed. But appear that people picnic here and have fires. No, stay out of the water, you guys. It's a nice lake, though. We could put the drone up, but I don't think I wanna. It's about three o'clock. We need to head back. And the towns of Lowellville, Martinsburg, Harrisburg, and Watson in Lewis County, New York, approximately 75 miles northeast of Syracuse, the Maple Ridge Wind Farm stands at an elevation of approximately 1,640 feet. The wind farm consists of 195 wind turbine generators. Produces enough clean energy to power over 88,000 local homes. The wind generators capacity at Maple Ridge are 321 megawatts. It's on a ridge between the Adirondacks and Lake Ontario. And so there's a pretty stand stable wind up here. So there's a... But there are a lot. They're not as close together as you see out in California or out west. Shadows on the ground. 